I was speaking to somebody recently who had suffered uh, betrayal from another person. So I wanted to talk about a little bit today about uh, selfishness uh, and narcissism and people who are non-integrous, people who have no integrity, how to spot them and how you should be with these people. So that um, this can especially happen if you're doing a lot of spiritual work you can have a, a, an aspect of spiritual naivety and not know who you're dealing with. And sometimes when you're doing a lot of spiritual work, you see everybody as being beautiful, innocent, and lovable. And so you, you think if you love them enough or you're nice enough to them for long enough that um, you know, they're, going to be, they're going to reciprocate the, that for you. So I, I come from an addiction background, which uh, addiction is non-integrous, dishonest, uh, selfish, self-centered, narcissistic by nature. So what that means is that uh, for anyone who's not above the level of integrity, has not yet got spiritual awareness, then that means that they can only think about themselves and they're selfish. Now, it can be sometimes hard to spot these people, but you need to look for signs of non-integrity. They may like gossiping. You may see them sometimes steal something. Um, you may see these little signs. They may be nice. They, see, they can be very nice to you while they want something, but when you're no longer useful, um, then they can drop you like a stone and be off somewhere else after you've been looking after them for a long time. So this type of thing, some people can experience this type of thing and, want, and wonder why, well, I've been so nice to this person, I've looked after this person, and they've seemed to be nice all this time I've known them, but then suddenly, when I'm not needed, they suddenly just leave uh, uh, and drop you cold. So I always say, you know, like for myself, having come from a place of um, addiction and non-integrity and now perceived spiritual, these, per these people are not, they don't have sensitivity of awareness of others. They, they can only think of their own needs, hence they're, they're selfish. So nowadays when I meet people, I, I sort of watch for signs. You know, they may be put on a good show, but then you might see they might be gossiping badly about other people. You might see they might be stealing this or others. You might be seeing them act towards others in a way of gross selfishness. So if I see enough of this, evidence of this, then I, I sort of see that I classify them as, as someone who's non-integrous. And I don't mean that as a judgment, but I mean that I'm aware that you can love them, but you don't need to leave your wallet on the table while you leave the room. And uh, you don't, you know, you, d you also have a, a level of spiritual wisdom in how to deal with them. doesn't mean that they're not uh, children of God but you, you behave with them because, they, you know, they, their nature is selfish and non-integrous. So if you're just, um, so you don't want to be like dumb or stupid or spiritually naive around these people. You need to be vigilant and cautious. Uh, li like I, I sometimes share, you know, if you know a person is an axe murderer, it doesn't negate you doing spiritual work and seeing them as a child of God and loving them, but it doesn't mean you have to invite them home. So you have that spiritual wisdom so there can be layers of spiritual naivety, and it's very important to pick up the cues. If you see evidence of people being in non-integrity, then you need to be spiritually aware that that's what you're dealing with and take the appropriate actions. <coughs> when you're dealing with people who are spiritually integrous, <coughs> then you can trust them, and they're honest with you. So that's a, a different matter uh, altogether.